Today we'll explore the electrical conductivity of ionic compounds, both as solids and when dissolved in water. For this experiment, I've set up a simple circuit with a light bulb that lights up when a conductor completes the circuit. The circuit also includes graphite electrodes that will help us test our substances. To confirm the setup works, I'll first bridge the gap between the graphite electrodes with a conductor. Here's a wire. Notice how the light bulb lights up. Now let's try a crocodile clip. Again, the bulb lights up. Finally, with the metal spatula, as expected, the bulb lights up. This confirms our circuit detects conductivity. Now let's test solid sodium chloride, commonly known as table salt. Ionic compounds are made up of positively and negatively charged ions held together in a strong lattice. In the solid state, these ions are fixed in place and cannot move freely. Let's see what happens when we lower the electrodes into the solid. As you can see, the light bulb does not light up, confirming that the solid sodium chloride does not conduct electricity. Let's repeat this experiment with potassium chloride, another ionic compound. Like sodium chloride, its ions are locked in a rigid lattice in the solid state. Again, the bulb does not light up, showing that solid potassium chloride is also a non-conductor. Now I'll add distilled water to the sodium chloride and stir it to dissolve the salt. When ionic compounds dissolve, the water molecules break apart the ionic lattice, freeing the ions to move independently. These free ions act as charge carriers, enabling the solution to conduct electricity. Let's test the solution. As I lower the electrodes into the liquid, the bulb lights up. This shows that the solution conducts electricity. Watch as I lift the electrodes out and put them back in. The bulb goes on and off. The electrical conductivity depends on the presence of the free ions in the solution. Finally, let's repeat the process with potassium chloride. Once it dissolves, its ions also become free to move. Lowering the electrodes into the potassium chloride solution causes the bulb to light up. This demonstrates that aqueous solutions of ionic compounds conduct electricity due to their mobile ions. In summary, solid ionic compounds do not conduct electricity because their ions are fixed in a lattice structure. However, when dissolved in water, the lattice breaks apart and the free moving ions allow the solution to conduct electricity. This is a fascinating property of ionic compounds that highlights the importance of understanding the states of matter in chemistry.